I'm Justin Washington. I've been employed at Royal Martin for five years. I work in the finishing department. I'm a forklift operator, and I take pride in my job. When I was young, um, I was positive I was doing good. Then my dad died in 1998. And then things changed for me as far as um, someone to look up to and believe in because I wanted to be like my dad, a sky cap, an airport. So now, what can I look at to be? My uncles was in jail, my brother was in jail, so it was like I picked my own route. And my own route wasn't the airport. It was like, I want to sell drugs, I want to have nice cars and be cool. And then my mom died. When my mom died around 2011, so much was going on. I was working at Wendy's, I had a son on the way, and in the midst of my mom died, I didn't take as far as my son and my job seriously. It's like I went down smart. That's when I ended up going to jail for eight months. Hanging around negative people, my cousin ended up getting killed. My closest friend, he ended up getting killed. So I'm riding around with a gun, just trying to protect myself and hoping that no one do me something, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then I got pulled over with the gun. And then by me going to jail for them eight months, this is like you're a two-time loser, so boom. They say, hey, we're gonna sentence you to 10 years of hard label. This is more serious. Like, you took the time, you convicted. They shipped me to Rivers Correctional Center I got on my knees, I cried, I begged the guard, like literally I put my hands up and I had tears coming out of my eyes and I said, God, um, I want to be a working man. I want to be there for my son. I went to the ward and I said, I want to be a trustee. So after I became a trustee, it was like, hey, you eligible for work release. I got the work release and it was so amazing. I started with like 25 people. My department was so hands-on, not just, hey, we want you to work, but we also want you to be a great man. We want you to take responsibility, be respectful, help others. Them 25 people, including myself, I'm the only one still here. So it was just confirmation to keep doing what I'm doing, keep doing what I'm doing. And then Walden Martin was allowing me opportunity after opportunity to be successful, to be more independent, to be more, you know, a great worker. My kids could call, hey dad, I got braces, I'm able to pay for that. But when I was in jail, I couldn't even do that. I couldn't even send them a dollar. I want my four sons to believe in me so much as their father, as an honest person. So to this day, I'm still seeing the benefits of trying to do the right thing with my life. And um, I say that to say, just like anybody else, from any rough neighborhood who lost their parents, who have dealt with drugs, who have been incarcerated. Don't let that determine who you are today. 25 years of my life, I wasn't as positive, as mature that I am now. And I have to thank all.